Okay, so now I'm going to do a three wire uh, standard braid. I'm actually, I put the block under this time because I don't want to actually ruin my table here. So I've got binding wire on it, holding it tight. And I'm just tightening it down at the bottom. Now the binding wire is binding into it. These should be annealed evenly. It's very important that it's all annealed evenly, kind of like your twists. It's very important for that. So this is a standard three wire twist. So you'll do two to one side, one to the other. Outside one always goes into the middle. You'll see how I'm not using pliers for this, which is what I did on the flat braid. I needed them on the flat braid. So now this becomes the middle one. I'm going to cross over, put it in the middle. And again, every time I braid, I want to make sure that these are parallel on this side. That helps keep it even. So now I'm going to hold this one, bring it up and over, and that's going to support this one. Now this is the outside one. Hold the middle one up and over. Now this is fairly heavy wire and I just keep going making sure that this will be parallel with the one on the left and I try to keep my hands the same strength. You will find that your hands will get very sore doing this. I try to keep this even. See how it's a little bit uneven already. Now I'm supporting it with my finger up in the middle. This short wire is actually harder to use. I'm going to do this a little bit here. So I got a bit of a braid, a little bit loose here and there. One of the things I can do to tighten this up is I can take this, I can Put it in a vise, similar to what you did with your twists. I'm going to put it in a vise. And then I'm going to grab it. Now this could be annealed at this point. And I'm just going to pull it. And that, that'll help tighten it all up. A little bit. And I can take it. I can tap it down can tap it this way and then that'll help pull it together. So this is a basic three wire. Now I'm going to cut the extras off here. I'm going to stand away from the camera for a second and I'm just going to go to my rolling mill. And so this is what it looks like when it's a basic twist. Now I could take a uh, braid. I could take this and braid it uh, make a closed sample and then slide it onto a, a sideband and a center and put it together. And that could be a totally acceptable center. Uh, I'm just going to show you what it looks like after I rolled it through the flat mill. And, you know, similar to your twists, we can work our braids a little bit afterwards. We do have to remember that they will deform a little bit in the rolling mill. But, you know, I now have a totally different braid, a total different look. If I was doing this, my center band has to be this width plus the two side bands. So the main ring needs to be wide enough to accommodate your braid and your two side bands, plus a little bit of extra. So it's important that you make the braid first so that you know how much, how wide your side band has to be, your, your main ring has to be. Otherwise, what you can do is make a really wide main ring solder one side band on, slide this on, slide the second side band on and just cut it. It's a bit wasteful, um, especially since your main ring is being 0.75 wire or sheet. It's not um, something you can use again other than for this process. Okay, so that's just a basic three wire.